Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen Series. My name is Joost Appelbaum and every Monday we post a new video of the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our channel. This week we get to see the Top 3 of YouTube Pen Reviewer Santiago Solano. His YouTube channel is called, and I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, El Rico de la Estilográfica. That wasn't that bad, right? Well, the English translation is the Fountain Pen Corner. If you're interested in Spanish content about the writing community, you should definitely give Santiago a follow. And now, let's have a look at his top three pens. Greetings from Bogota, Colombia in South America. My name is Santiago Solano and I host a Spanish language YouTube channel called The Fountain Pen Corner, best known as El Rincón de la Estilográfica in Spanish. It is a great honor for me to be here on the Apple Booms channel, sharing with you my top three favorite fountain pens. Let's get into the topic. My third favorite is the Montegrappa Emozione fountain pen. The story of this pen in my collection has two faces, like the theater emblem. The sad one is facing the bankruptcy of the franchise of Montegrappa in my country. The happy one, on the other hand, is that this situation generated a huge sale of their products and I was extremely fortunate to obtain this fountain pen at a very affordable price. Once in my possession, this extraordinary pen became a treasure for me. This particular Italian piece is made of yellow cellulose with metal work of 1925 sterling silver all over the body, the cap, and the clip. The little ball at the end of the clip makes it very easy to slip the pen into your pocket. Nice detail. The top of the cap has an eight-faced ring with the logo of Montegrappa. It has a big 18 karat gold nib beautified with embossed arabesque. It is a cartridge converter pen which delivers ink through its marvelous M nib in a fantastic smooth way. My second favorite is the Graf von Faber-Castell Intuition Fountain Pen. As the Montegrappa just described, this story is worth telling. It happens that my beloved wife always argues with me about little details. On top of this, I have a very stubborn personality, so when I think I'm right, I will die arguing with anyone. With this perfect and dangerous mixture, at one time we found ourselves arguing about which was the easiest and fastest way to find an address in Bogota. We end up betting about who was right and the winner would get a fountain pen for me or a ring for her. The dispute was ended by my good friend Waze. Guess what happened? This particular German piece is made of grenadine wood enhanced with platinum metal work all over its body and cap. It has an astonishing 18 karat gold nib with the Faber-Castell heraldry embossed. I absolutely love its filling mechanism because even though it is a cartridge converter one, the way you disassemble the pen to fill it is a dream. The wood of the body is unique in each piece and ages stunningly according to the hand that uses it. As expected, with this German brand, the nib performance is spectacular with a little bit of feedback that resembles the harmonious dance of the nib over the paper. And finally, my top choice takes us back to Italy with the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma Fountain Pen. Another great story that needs to be told. A very good friend of mine, knowing my expertise in fountain pens, asked me to help him with the restoration of his very old vintage Parker Dwarfold fountain pen. It was in very poor condition due to its age and lack of care. Its restoration was way beyond my knowledge. We agreed to take the pen to a pen maker 
which unfortunately was not available in our country. The instrument was then taken to the Fountain Pen Hospital in New York City for a full restoration. They performed a superb job and returned the Parker Duffield almost as a new piece. But this action generated expensive consequences. When you are an addict of fountain pens as I am, and you go into a splendid fountain pen shop like the Fountain Pen Hospital in New York City, you feel in heaven to be near fantastic pieces of writing, but also in hell because you don't have the money to buy what you want. On top of that, the great salesman in the Fountain Pen Hospital did a fantastic job selling me this marvelous piece of art and, of course, breaking my bank account. Yes, I accept it. I broke the bank. But at the same time, I own what I think is the holy grail of the fountain pens. The body and cape are made of actual lava that comes from Mount Etna in Italy. It has red metal work that wonderfully combines with the matte black color of the pen. The hook safe mechanism for the twisting closing of the cap patented by Visconti is a noticeable characteristic. The vacuum pump filling system works very nice and holds a decent amount of ink. But what really blew my mind with this writing instrument was its nib. Gorgeous 21 karat palladium nib which delivers a very generous amount of ink onto the paper. It is a broad nib with an insane writing experience. It is like writing with a hot knife over butter. For me, the smoothness of this instrument has no equal up to this time. It was an indescribable pleasure for me to share my top three fountain pens and their stories with the Apple Boom community. Be safe in this pandemic period and keep writing. Thank you.